Now there's another modifier that's very similar to masking. If you hold down shift, you'll get a smooth brush. You hold down control, you'll get all your mask brushes. If you hold down control shift, you'll get all your visibility modifiers. And these are brushes as well. In fact, if you let go of control shift and you go in here, you're gonna see select lasso, select rect, but just like masking, it's easier to go through here with control shift held down and then it narrows it down to just the visibility modifiers as well as slicing and trimming functionality. But we'll start over here with these two, which is our vis visibility modifiers. So by default, select rect is chosen. And just like masking, it's basically going to choose a rectangle because you have the rectangle stroke selected. Of course, you can change this to circle stroke if you want. And then if you hold down control shift and drag, it's going to make a circle visibility selection. But let's stick with what the default is. So we'll hold down control shift, change it back to rectangle. And we have part of our geometry hidden. It's not deleted. You can go through here and you can sculpt on this with say like the clay brush if we want. And then if you hold down control shift and tap, you're gonna see it's gonna bring our visibility back and those sculpting changes we made it are now updated. So we can undo that. And just like masking, if we scroll down here, there's a visibility submenu. You're gonna see there's a hide point, which is gonna be hide unmasked and a show point, which is gonna be show points. So you can actually use masking and visibility together. So if I hold down control and mask pin, then I mask this area and then I choose hide point. That's going to hide everything that was unmasked. Now you're also gonna see, if I hold down control shift and tap and all my points are showing, these are all grayed out. As soon as I hold down control shift and drag a rectangle, and again, you can hold down space bar to move this around and you can hold down alt to get rid of visibility there. So just like masking, hold down control shift and tap in your document to bring everything back. Control, hold down control shift and drag to show these points. If you want to invert this, control shift drag out here and that'll invert your selection. Control shift alt to get remove pieces of your selection. Control shift to make this just your visibility selection. And then control shift tap to bring everything else back. But like I was saying, if you hold down control shift and grab a piece of your object, these are suddenly not great anymore. And you can go through here, you can say grow. So that's gonna grow out from that border. You can say shrink, and it'll shrink that selection back down. You can choose outer ring, and essentially your outer border here will just have a ring of polygons that you can show. Let's hit control Z. And another really useful one is grow all. When we have insert mesh pieces and complex subtools, grow all will really come in handy. And in fact, if you hover over that, you're gonna see the hotkey for that is control shift A. So keep that one in your back pocket. So just like when we were masking, if you hold down control shift and then drag out a select rectangle and you just wanna show the eyeball and you go around to the back here, you're gonna see it went all the way through my object. So if we don't wanna see the back of the head here, hold down control shift and alt, and then you can get rid of those pieces and now we just have the eyeballs here. So if you want to, you can go through here and you can start sculpting. Let's go ahead and turn off RGB for our Damien standard brush and go through here and we can really just focus in on sculpting just this eye area. So if you're having some performance issues with your mesh, remember you can just use visibility to hide a lot of your mesh, sculpt on one small area, hold down control shift and tap to bring everything else back. And that'll be a way to boost some of your performance if you need it. Now, if you remember there was another option, we hold down control shift, go in here and tap this and say select lasso. You're gonna see it changes to a lasso stroke so just like masking, you can go through here, hold down control shift, and you can grab a little piece of what you want to see. And let's say we just wanted those ears. Now we can go through here and hold down control shift alt, and we can hide pieces of these meshes. So this is really useful to kind of isolate back down to just pieces of geometry you want to see. And things if you were doing like photogrammetry cleanup, you can go through here and fine tune uh, selection. You can hold down control shift and alt. Now, if we grab too much and we're like, oh, I wish I could go back to the other selection and put it back on this ear. I can hold down control shift and drag. That's going to invert my selection. And now I can go through here and say control shift alt and add that to my selection. Control shift drag again. Now we gotta check the back to make sure we didn't accidentally grab too much. Hold down control shift alt again. And now we just have these ears visible to us. Now, 
we're going to kind of skip ahead a little bit, but if I turn on polyframe, you're going to see this is all one polygroup. I've held down control shift and tap. This whole object is just one polygroup. Don't be confused by this poly paint. If I go up here and turn off colorize and change back to a white color, this is all one color polygroup. So if I go through here and again, just select these ears and then with these ears selected, let's go ahead and clean this up a little bit here. What I can do is I can go down here to polygroup, say group visible, or one thing I use for kind of everything is group mask clear mask, which is control W. Group visible doesn't have a hotkey assigned automatically. Group mask clear mask is control W. The cool thing about this one is if there's nothing masked and you just have something visible, Hitting Control W will polygroup whatever's visible on your screen. So we can hit Control W and that'll change that to a different poly group color. Now that's not poly paint. If we go back up here, you're gonna see our poly paint is off. This is literally just for quick geo selections. So now if I hold down Control Shift and tap in my document, now we have different color poly group for our ears. If we don't wanna see our poly group, remember, just turn poly group off. Now you're going to notice over here under polyframe there's a line and a fill option. If you don't want to see the lines of the actual polygons of your object, just go over here and turn off line and now you just see your polygroups and you can also turn off fill and just have line on. Generally speaking, I'll probably have both of these on all the time. But if I just want to see my polygroup selections, turning off line is perfectly viable too. Now the reason I bring this up is visibility selection is very useful with this. So if I hold down control shift and then change the select rectangle, now that I have two separate polygroups, if I just want to isolate the ears at any point, I can very quickly just go hold down control shift and tap those ears. And now they're visible. If I want to invert that, control shift drag, now the ears are out of my way. So you can go through and divide up your mesh, hold down control shift, go into select lasso, maybe grab the arms, maybe clean up the selection a little bit with control shift alt. Control W, Control Shift Tap to bring everything else back. So now if I want to sculpt on the side of his body and I have the arms are in the way, I can Control Shift Tap his body and then go through here with my standard brush or my Damien standard brush and have a lot easier access to the side of his body now that the arms are out of the way. Of course, if I want the arms back, I can Control Shift Tap to bring them back or once the body is selected, I can hold down Control Shift and drag and just work on the arms. Or if I don't want to work on the ears, control shift tap them and that should get rid of the ears. However, you're going to see it just ended up taking a strip out of this ears. That's actually a feature and when we get to box modeling we'll talk a little bit more about this, but if we hold down control shift with select lasso and we turn back on the line functionality, we can go through here and if you hold control shift tap on an edge it's going to give you that entire poly loop. So you can go through here and very quickly visibility select poly loops. However, when we're going through here and selecting poly groups, we probably don't want that functionality. If you hold down control shift and switch to select rectangle, select rectangle doesn't have that functionality built in, so it's very easy to go through here and select the body, control shift drag, select the ears, and now we just have the arms to work on. Control shift drag to invert that selection. Now we have the body with the ears, control shift tap. Now it's just the body Control shift drag to invert. And again, you can just keep cycling through the different polygroups that you want to play around with or sculpt on as needed. And again, to bring everything else back, hold down control shift and tap, and now everything's back in your scene. And just since we were talking about it, that group mask clear mask, to kind of show that in action, if you hold down control and then just kind of paint a mask over the nose, you're going to see we have the nose masked. We can hit Control W, and that's going to group what was masked and clear the mask. So to show you that again, if we hit Control Z and go through here, and we can like clean up the bottom of the mask, or we can hold down Control and add to the mask by not holding down Alt. You know what? We can grab this whole section down here as well. And again, just hit Control W, and that's going to group what's masked and then clear our mask. And now we have an easy selection for the nose and upper lip as well as the ears, the body, and the arms.